Hello and welcome to my studio. My name is Derek. I'm a professional stained glass artist and today we're doing a review of these. They're glass breaking pliers by the German company Silberschnitt. They've had great reviews from other glass makers so I was really keen to try them out. I bought these myself and I'm going to do a review and give you my impressions as to whether they are going to be an essential part of my glass making toolkit. They are a little bit more expensive than the standard ones that you can buy but there are a few added features that we're going to go into in detail. Is it worth that extra investment? Let's find out. So these are the Silver Schnitt running pliers. They've got the logo on the front and they have a couple of features that differentiate them from other glass pliers. Principally, uh, the two pads here, the black pads, which are easily removable here, they just pull out and they pull back in again if you need to change them. The bottom pad is the pad that is circular and it has a little sort of nipple uh, raised at the center here and that's what pushes up on the fracture of the glass. And this box device here, which rotates 360 degrees, is the section that applies pressure down on the top side of the glass and that allows the fracture to run along the length of the glass. So these are the, that's the secret weapon of this particular uh, set of pliers. The other advantage is that they have a spring-loaded uh, mechanism here, which spring-loads the handles back into an open position. You might not think that's useful, but it is actually very useful. My traditional grossing pliers that I've had for years also have spring-loaded handles, you can see here, and you get you really get used to the fact that these open out naturally. I did lose a spring on one set of grossing pliers at one time, and it was really odd to have pliers that didn't naturally spring back open. You do get used to that mechanism, and the fact that these also have it is a really useful feature. So if you start with something very simple, let's just cut a piece of um, float glass. Center them along the line with the pad running at 90 degrees to the score line and just gently pull, gently squeeze the handles together and you'll hear the, the sound of the, the fracture starting. There we go. And if I squeeze down further, it will actually break all the way along. There we go. Let's just do a couple of, couple of concentric lines. Listening for that lovely score sound. So again, let's cut the inside line out first of all. So I make sure that my top pad is sitting at 90 degrees to the fracture line and I apply a little bit of pressure. Hear that cracking sound. And again on the other side. And it comes away easily enough. So let's try the larger concentric circle. Again, a little bit of pressure applied. Is the crack sound. Again, the other side. Now, that fracture has started at this side. It has then continued along this side, but it hasn't fractured along the top edge. This is where this comes into its own. I would turn this pad at 90 degrees, so it's facing vertically, and I would introduce it again to the fracture, and you can see here that it is at, four, that it is at 90 degrees to the fracture. And again, a little bit of pressure and it comes away. So this works really well for intricate shapes where you need to get in. There's a, there's a limit to how far you can get into the glass because of the length of the jaws, but you can get quite far into the body of the glass and you can move the breaking pliers around into different positions to help break that glass. As I say, the way I've always done it is to tap the glass along the, the underside of the fracture but you know, that's that's an acquired skill and it's something that you don't necessarily have to put, put yourself through the pain of learning to do that and cutting yourself and all the rest of it. If you can use breaking pliers, it does make that job a lot easier and potentially you're not gonna cut yourself as often as you might.
let's use some granite back glass here. Textured glass is notoriously difficult to cut. Uh, and of course, we always cut our textured glass on the smoothest sides because it's so heavily textured. And although there is a smooth side uh, on the back side, it's still not entirely smooth and there are ridges and divots. So it can be problematic. And of course, when it breaks, you can get these very, very sharp serrated edges, which you can see along here. Um, which will cut your fingers to ribbons. So trying to find a way of alleviating that problem or reducing the risk of cutting yourself can be really helpful. You can even hear that the ridges are making it quite difficult to cut. So let's see if we can break this without creating too many of these horribly sharp little appendages. There we go, a cleaner break, as you can see here. Very little edge work needs to be done, very little extra grinding. Um, you know, so over a course of a day, a week, a month, the less edge work that you have to do, the quicker you can create each piece of glass, the quicker you can extract the shape out of the body of glass that you want um, by using breaking pliers. Just simple design choices like the spring-loaded handle and this articulated pad make it very easy to get into intricate and difficult shapes and it gives you the confidence more than anything else to control that cut line, and to control the way the fractures run along pieces of glass, especially difficult, tricky bits of glass like texture glass. You could find it on my Amazon shop here in the UK, or you can find it on my Amazon shop in the States. So I'll leave links in the comments below this video for where you can access one of these. I personally think investing in good quality kit is essential. You tend to buy one thing of high quality and it lasts for years and years and i think these are designed to last for a long time so what do you think of these pliers would you consider buying a pair do you have a pair how do you get on with them i'd love to hear your comments below this video and if you enjoyed today's video consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like and for more product reviews check out this video next thanks again for watching bye for now